One, two, one, two. Hello guys, good evening. How's it going, Max, Daniela? Fine teacher, today's Friday, so it's yeah. Sunday. Yeah, thank God it's Friday. Do you work tomorrow? Yeah, just from uh, 5 a.m. to 12.30. That's normal. Yeah, it's normal. And working half day is better than being working the whole day, you know. It's a lot better. I finished the exercise on the platform. Thank you. Awesome. How, how did it go? You gave the tip. Oh yeah. How we have to answer. So yeah, sometimes they expect you to to text uh, to type the whole sentence, right? And sometimes it's just a little bit. That's right. Hello, Veronica. Yep. 
Hello, teacher, again. What happened to you? Oh, I'm sorry. I have a little problem uh, yesterday. And mm -hmm. yesterday. Okay. Yeah, for my work. Because of your work? Okay. Because of your work. Okay, Nineveh. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How's it going? It's going? Cool. <laughs> I work on it. <laughs> Great. Okay, it's good to have you back. Elvis. Good evening, Elvis. Good evening. Good evening. How's it going? Good. Again? Okay. Yes. Great, great, great. Vadi, great. welcome. Well, uh, thank you, teacher. <laughs> welcome, Levi. <laughs> thank you, teacher. <laughs> okay. Thank you uh, for being with us. Uh, Danny, good evening, Danny. Daniela? Good evening. Danny, Daniela, how's it going? Yes, it's going fine. At least your name is not Margaret Daisy Margarita. I swear, I, I saw that name once. Hello, Madeline. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm doing great. Today is Friday and you know, right? Yes, you're go you're going out. You're going out it's tonight. Friday. I, can, I can tell on your lips that you're going out. I was ah. working. I was working all day. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah, working. <laughs> working. Yes, it's not true. <laughs> Okay, Did guys. Did you go to the shopping, teacher? Oh, if I went shopping, I went shopping. It's no, nah, that's a lie. <laughs> that's a lie. You didn't see the news? A lie. Yes, oh. I, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't. I don't know. And uh, the the Defensoria the Protección del Consumidor, that thing, the DPC, they oh. they found out that many prices were higher than normal. Or normal prices. Seventy-five percent of the company. Seventy-one percent. Seventy-one percent. It's true. I saw that. I saw a, a good offer of a TV, a smart TV, forty-three inches and two ninety-nine. I think that that sounded good. Who knows? The friends yeah. on the so. on the brand. On the brand. I have a TLC. I have a TCL or wait. What is it? DLC, DLC. I think. Yeah. And it's been there hanging on the wall for five years. Five years. Ever since I, I bought it. I don't have any coin to buy. Any coin to buy. To buy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any in this month. I have no money. Repeat, I have no, no money. I don't have money. I have no money. I have no money. I is got, the same I, I don't have, have money? money. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah, you can say I don't have there money, is but no money. There is no money. There's oh. no money. Good. There's no money. I have no money. I have enough money. Good. I, I have, have no money. money. What, Max? I have no money. I, I don't have, have no a money. single penny. I don't have a single penny in a house. Yeah. Any coin? <laughs> Excellent, guys. Hey, good. I like today when you... I went to today. I went to the Multiplaza, and that was full. There was food. Oh, it was full. It was full. Uh -huh. It was crowded. It was crowded. I hope my gift. Crowded. My How do you like crowded, teacher? Crowded. Uh, C R O W E D. Teacher, crowded. I hope my wait my uh, gift. Sorry. Christmas gift. <laughs> you bought I it. Hope, I hope. You hope She's I like expecting. it? Oh, you're expecting a, a gift, or did you buy me a gift? Ah, you! Yes! <laughs> you. Yes, you yeah. are far from me. <laughs> yeah. But I, so, I, 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 sent you, I sent you my gift. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Um, buddy, one thing that you said, I went to the... To the Multiplaza? Multi I went to Multiplaza. Yes. Went... The article will be to the mall. Sorry, mall. 
My dyslexia. I was singing in Multiplaza five years ago. Oh yes. my God. Yes, I was singing. It was you? Yes. I remember. Yes, yes, I was okay. there. I was there. Uh, Ooh, awesome. Okay. <laughs> a you song don't from. Don't believe me. Don't believe me. But I believe you. True. I believe you. I it always is believe true. you. It's that true. It is true. It is true. Okay, guys. It's true. <laughs> Let's start the class. <laughs> Remember what we said yesterday? Yesterday we had two new ways of expressing um, problems, right? The first one was using keep and then the gerund, remember? Because a gerund follows the verb keep. So examples, my teacher keeps telling me to learn my verbs, okay? Her siblings keep fighting over the TV. Give me more examples. I have you on the screen, Madeline. Could you give me an example? Mm, yes, I. Uh, an example? No, I don't have a question. A question? Yes. Okay. What's the question? Uh, keep telling. I don't know. Uh, keep telling. What is the meaning? Keep telling me. It's like my teacher is always telling me. Ah yes, you teach me it to learn you, my you, verbs. You oh, continue. Yes, you are when something happens continuously, I continuously tell, I'm continuously telling you, learn your verbs, learn your verbs, Madeline. So, oh, yes. okay, give me an example with a plural, anybody? Using keeps. Using keep telling. Remember that you have keeps there, Madeline, because it's third person. My teacher. Third person, yes. Okay, so let's make a plural. Um, my daughter. Uh, that's, keeps that's, sending that's still me. Still singular. Okay, my daughter. Say, my daughter uh, keeps sending me. Um, many many books. Like that, my daughter keeps tell sending me many books. Yeah. Am I? I'm wrong with the spelling here, right? It's okay. Daughter, daughter is. Oh, I have this daughter. lecture right now. Hold yes. on. Mm, I don't like the way it looks. Daughter. Okay. Yeah, my daughter keeps sending me many books. Okay. Yeah, that's a good example. Now, can somebody give me a plural example? The students. Uh, Keep, keep yeah. studying for the <laughs> Yes. Study. Okay, the student, the students keep studying English. The students keep studying English. The students keep studying English. Okay. Teacher, in which case you are speaking with keep, using keep? Uh, okay. Keep um, and keep. I have the same question. You have the same question? Yes. I mean, if you use the verb by itself in any tense, you can use it. Mm -hmm. mm. But in this context, it's very common to use it when you speak about problems, about issues like this problems. one. Mm -hmm. oh. When are... Now, keep in mind... <laughs> Listen, keep in mind that when you use keep in this context, it will always follow a gerund, the weather. Mm -hmm. Buddy? The weather keeps, yeah. Um, keep. But I have other question. Another. When mm -hmm. you keep and keeps without is. Oh, without the S. Okay. Uh -huh. How do you replace Vadi? Vadi. How do you replace the weather? What subject? It. It. Vadi. Uh, <laughs> ah, 
nice for it, he, she. Madeline, I was asking Maddie, okay. <laughs> yes, the weather, you replace it with... Ah, uh, it's the same. Mm -hmm. An object pronoun, an object... Conjugation. Conjugation, yeah, you conjugate. Ahora, ese ejercicio es el que les decía al principio del módulo anterior, Maddie. Tenés que hacerlo así, rápido en tu mente. Reemplazar uh -huh. el nombre o los nombres por un objeto, por un sujeto. Así rápido, mentalmente. Wait, I'm talking about the air. The weather mm -hmm. keeps. Entonces es with is es with it, teacher. Third person. Third person, it, he, she. Yes. Yep. Uh, look at it's this. Breaking is like the ah, oh, it's like the verbs. Oh, this con oh my god, I'm dyslexic today. <laughs> By this connection, Kips, uh, freezing. Freezing. Yeah. By this connection, Kips freezing. But the screen keeps freezing. Now, this is a third person. What am I talking about? What am I talking about, buddy? By this she, connection? Who? She? 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 Oh, she? It's like a bird vision. Oh, okay. Mm -mm. It's the subject. About the connection. I'm talking about your internet it... connection, not you. Your internet ah, connection. Ah, yes. By this connection. The it. connection is the it. It's it. it. Another one. It. 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 Mm. The other secretary is she. Our secretary. Huh? That's she, right? Repeat. Ah, uh, yes, she. Repeat I think I secretary. <laughs> okay. Repeat secretary. Sec secretary. Our, sec secretary. our secretary, our secretary, secretary, our secretary keeps screaming. Our secretary keeps screaming. Our secretary keeps screaming. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, one last example, buddy. Your uncle keeps mm -hmm. screaming. Your uncle keeps telling me, telling me off. Uh, mm -hmm. Using off, I don't know. The part, telling me off. But only telling me, yes, I understand. But telling me off. Telling me off. Figure it out. My uncle. Your uh, uncle. Okay, wait, wait. Madeline, um, Vadi, Vadi, can you replace the my uncle, your uncle? Your uncle keeps telling me off. Yeah, what, what is the, um, the uh, uh, he, subject he, here? He... He? Yes, it is he. My uncle. So it I doesn't. Yeah, it I doesn't matter. Uh -huh. On the chat. On the I chat. On the chat. It used to confuse me. At the beginning, right? The reason. <clears throat> okay. It's a sentence from a song. Wow. And the reason no, is. Yeah. yeah. The reason. Yeah. Uh, who was tank? The reason yeah. is you. Yeah, that, that's a good example too, Vadi. It's Everybody. confusing when you're when you're okay. starting because I used to to think. Thank you, over and over Why? Why? The you're welcome. You're welcome. You. Yeah. When does it say the reason is you? Because it's a singular. It is yeah, you. Because we're talking about the reason, not about you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's very confusing, and actually, that's that's the way uh, many exams are designed to confuse the students yeah. with singular figures. Those are figures, intangible ideas. Okay, so Kips, what about Kip? We didn't see it. So remember, if it is a plural, you don't add s. If it is singular, you add s. You treat it as a third person. Repetitive action. Repetitive. Repetitive. Repetitive, repetitive action, repetitive, yes. Repetitive. Action, that's right. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, this thing is frozen. Wait a minute. Okay. 
let's move on. Now let's see the next part. My computer is frozen. Give me one second. Okay, and the, the last part we're going to review really quick is the second way. Then you have a, an object, right, this chair. And again, you have third person, but now the verb is need. The same thing, you treat it as a third person. This chair needs. It's fixing. Okay, now what changes is the complement, the verb. You can say fixing, or you can use the passive infinitive. So you say, this chair needs to be to need, to need. fixed. This chair needs fixing or this chair needs to be fixed? To be fixed. Okay. Can you give me an example? First. Give me an example and we're going to make it uh, both ways, you know. Let me select someone. Uh, Daniela, would you like to participate? Why me? If you let me think. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. I will let you think. Let's first think about an object, something that needs. Uh, the, the old car. The old car? Need changing. Oh, the, Need changing. the car's oil. Ah, sorry, yes, the car oil. The car's oil needs, mm hmm changing. Changing, yeah. Okay, now, again, guys, I'm gonna leave you this on your discretion, on your own judgment. Listen to yourself and tell me what sounds better. Okay, so the car's oil needs changing. The car's oil needs to be changed. It's the same. Same thing. That's another the point. Sounds odd. What? Which one, Max? Sounds odd. The first one. The first one. The car's oil needs change. change. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Second. Yeah. I was second. writing here an example, and uh -huh. my example sounds weird too. My bike needs painting. It doesn't sound. Oh, good. that's very common. Is that okay? Yeah, that's painting. very common actually. My bike needs painting. My car needs painting. Um, I had needs... one. Okay, and so what would be the um, the passive? My car needs to be painted. Painted, 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 painted. painted. Yeah, painted. It's very soft. Painted. Uh huh. Who said I have one? I me. My exam news. Who is me? Ah, Daniela, Daniela, okay. Ah, but wait. Wait, wait this, one second, Madeline. First, I'm going to go with Daniela. Uh -huh. This computer needs to be updated. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it will sound really weird if you were to say this computer needs updating. Mm. <laughs> Teacher. Okay, Madeline. Um, my exam needs uh, reviewing. Oh, oh. Mm. my exam needs to be reviewed. To be reviewed? Yeah. My Our exam no needs reviewing. Needs reviews. Reviewing. 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 My exam needs reviewing. That sounds good too. Needs to be checked. It needs reviewing. Needs some checking, needs checking. And that's one more thing. You can use uh, quantifiers. My bike needs some painting job. My, ah, yeah? I was thinking to put paint, uh, to write the painting work. <laughs> needs some painting job. Mm -hmm. Job. This computer needs some updates, some little updates, a few updates. And then you're using nouns. Okay. So yes, you can do that. My exam needs a little check-in. Okay. Needs to be checked a little. To be checked. 
A little. A little. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. You check throughly. 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 I don't like that word. Throughly. I don't. I don't like that word. It's too long. Throughly. Throughly. But it's very. It's throughly. very used. Throughly. It's very used as well. How how do you wait? And this is why I don't like it, Max. Through through. Oh, wait a minute. Throughly. Through. I can't remember how to. I think that's the way. Throughly. Throughly. Throwly. Throw. Throw. Oh my God. Throw. <laughs> I can remember. I never remember how to write that word. Okay. Throwly. It's like, it's like, like writing Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. Yeah. Okay. Good, guys. Hope you got this topic. Let's move on to the next one. And don't forget, check the um, check the video again. Okay, up next. Oh, okay. I need you to take your notebook and a pencil rather than a pen, a pencil. Pencil. I said pencil. A pencil? Pencil. I, I said pencil, right? A pencil. Yes. Thank you. Okay. So with the pencil in your hand and the notebook, let's watch the following video. There's, well, actually, let's go straight to it. Hello. We want you to work on the following sentences. You may complete them by using the correct form of keep and the words in the box. This time, you will do this exercise on your notebook and ask your teacher to check them for you. My computer is driving me crazy. It. The buttons on the remote control always stick. They. The UCD player often jumps to another song. It. Our new flat screen TV has a problem. It. Those old cell phones never work right anymore. They Sometimes Ed can't use his solar-powered calculator. It My computer screen needs to be replaced. It The answering machine never picks up any calls. It Okay. So if you got it here, you must complete with what we have learned, right? Keep. I will say that you will only use keep. Keep and need. Sure. In this case, what is the meaning of jump? Jump, to get stuck. Okay. What about flicker? Can remember what is flicker? Anybody? No. You remember? <sighs> Let me get it for you because I forgot it. I knew it and I forgot it. I sent you that image on the group. That that little test. Oh, it keeps. Uh, Parpadeando. Blink. Yeah, I was about to say blink, but blink is the blink of an eye. In a blink of an eye. Flicker. Yeah, flicker, like this. Flicker. My computer is driving me crazy. You can use blink with lights. Yeah. It... And like my cell phone, my cell phone has a crack on it, on the screen, and it keeps flickering. <gasps> I gave you the answer. This <laughs> is flickering. Hey, let me show you really quick. Uh, you see that? Can you see I that? I did that, ex that exercise in the platform. Oh, really? OK, look at that. Yes, I did My it. cell phone keeps flickering. You see that? It's crazy. It's broken. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
It's driving me crazy. Yes, always. TV has a problem. It. I need a pencil. <laughs> Powell concerned. Okay. 
Okay, let me know whenever you're ready. Some of the sentence. Some of the sentences. Uh huh. Sound like they. Like they have to be in past tense. Mm -hmm. Like the. One of the cell phones. Well, we'll use. Teacher, jam is mermelada. As a noun, yes. As a noun. Uh, as a verb? As a verb, it means to get stuck. Stop. Stuck. S-T-U-C-K. Like when the paper on the photocopier machine, the photocopy machine gets jammed. The paper gets jammed on the photocopy machine. What is a new uh, flat screen TV? Mm, our new flat screen TV has a problem. It could be many things. And guys, I believe you should be using only keep or kips in these examples. because you're talking about a problem. Every time it's just a problem. Are difficult the exercise? The exercises are difficult. No, they're not. Okay, let's start. The exercise is using keep. I will say so because you're re you are reporting a problem in every, every time. Let's- Keep let's, or need. Let's start. I'm going to go in order. We are seven right now. So we have eight examples. Okay, number one, Max, my computer is driving me crazy. It? It keeps crashing. It keeps when crashing? The, um, yeah, when? It keeps crashing. Yeah. Any anybody else? Did someone else use another? Another. I use freezing. You used? I'm sorry, Danny. Freezing. Freezing. We have other. Yes. Freezing. It keeps freezing. It's overheating. It's overheating. It keeps overheating. Yeah, it keeps overheating. I use crash because that's what you say when, for example. Uh, some software when, when you get a blue doesn't, screen doesn't answer or mm -hmm. doesn't, doesn't respond. respond doesn't respond yeah when you get when you get a crashed. blue screen you get a blue screen too it's already coming so yeah uh my computer is driving me crazy it keeps crashing it keeps freezing oh my god where's the g it keeps overheating i'll go for overheating okay let's go for overheating here overheating that sounds like more common to yeah. happen to our computer. Okay, the buttons, Madeline, the buttons on the yes. remote, on the remote the control. the buttons on the remote control always stick. They keeps flickering, flickering. Okay, so what do you think guys? Is that right? No. No. They How? keep jamming. They keep? Jamming. Yeah, Madeline, uh, they, they keep, you don't need the S, Madeline. Keeps. No. no, they keep, they keep. They keep? They keep. And now, in this case, you will use jam. Jam, jammering. No. no, remember, como regla general de los gerundios, um, cuando ocupas el presente participio de un verbo, si el verbo es monosílabo y está compuesto por Double M. Consonante, vocal. Consonante. Consonante. Uh, double, double M. You double the last consonant. Double M. 
Yes, I know. Here, right? Yes, jamming. So they keep jamming. Okay. It's like saying they keep getting stuck. They keep getting stuck. Same I thing. I think that we can use the word on, keep on jamming. They keep on jamming. Yes, I was thinking about the same thing. They keep on jamming. Yeah. Okay, number three, Veronica. Uh, it keep skipping. It keeps. It keeps skipping. Keeps. Uh -huh. Now, question: Do I double the p in this one? No. I think. Yeah. Yes. No. Let me see. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wrote a double p. <laughs> and you wrote it with double p, and you're saying no. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that happens. Okay, it keeps skipping the tracks. It keeps skipping the tracks. The tracks. And again, I believe that it should go go like it keeps on skipping. It keeps on skipping. Uh, that mm -hmm. wouldn't sound too mm -hmm. good because you will need to make stuff. Now, I I want to emphasize something here. And on the video, you will notice it too. Uh, it says the bottoms on the remote control always stick. Don't make a pause. They oh, always stick. stick. Don't say they always stick. There's no E. Okay, so be careful with that. They always stick. Okay, double S. Uh, it keeps skipping. Listen, it keeps skipping. It keeps skipping. It keeps skipping. Keeps, keeps skipping. skipping. Yeah, be careful with that. Skips, don't don't skipping. make don't make stop. Okay, it keeps skipping. Okay, uh, Vadi number four. Read it. Is a keep breaking down. Our new flat screen TV has a problem. It keeps keeps breaking down. Breaking down. No. I don't know. You tell me. What do you think, guys? It breaking keeps down. Breaking down. Uh, mm, no, no. Or freezing. Freezing. The, yeah. Going dead. Going I have two options. It keeps going dead. It keeps freezing. It dead. keeps breaking down. Yeah. For going dead. For the space. But yes, you're right, buddy. You're totally right. It keeps breaking down. It keeps crashing. It keeps um, overheating. It keeps going dead. But the most common, what happens with TVs? Flat screens. It keeps overheating. Crashing. Um, overheating. Overheating again. Yeah, because you know a, a TV, a TV wouldn't wouldn't crash. No, maybe. Uh, no, there's no software on a smart they TV. Got, yeah, they got operative system. They they have. I don't see well. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the flickering. It keeps flickering, yeah, like. Oh, the audio, the audio. I'm sorry, the audio on a on a TV could flicker. The 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 the, the speakers could go like. That happens mm -hmm. sometimes. It's really annoying. It keeps flickering. Keeping sorry. Okay. Keeping pushing. I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Elvis, repeat. Keeping, keep pushing, pushing. Oh, it keeps freezing, freezing. Yeah, it keeps yes. freezing. Yeah, that, that will work as well. Okay. Oh, it's your turn, actually, Elvis, your turn. Those old cell phones never work right anymore. Uh, they keep uh, keep it. They keep. They keep. Um, uh, the crashing. Crashing. Yeah. Crashing. They keep crashing. Oh. Hey, but that's a lie, right? 
It's a lie. The old cell no. phones keep going there. They keep going there. They keep crashing. But because of the battery, the battery, you know, I, I yeah. went to, I, I went to buy a gas cylinder. Gas cylinder. You know, what is that? I went to get a, I went to get a, I went to get a gas cylinder a few nights ago and the guy introduced my so subsidiary my subsidiary amount <laughs> you know the subsidiary i can't know how to say that yeah wait a minute i forgot my benefit card that's my government benefit card mm -hmm. from the gas he introduced the number on the cell phone they always have very old nokia cell phones the old school cell phones yes you know i wonder why don't they create an app instead of using the messaging system right what are they going to do when those cell phones completely die? That's crazy. Okay, good job. Okay, sometimes, and we go with, who goes after Elvis? Oh, Nineveh, hi. So sometimes, hi. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes. Ed, mm -hmm. Can be used his solar power calculator. It keep freezing. It keep or it keeps. It keeps <laughs> freezing. Okay. A calculator. Overheat. A calculator Overheating. can can keep freezing, and a calculator can keep overheating. Uh, it's a solar powered calculator. Car calculator. Calcu calcu calculator. Repeat it. Calculate. Calculate. Calculator. Let me make a pause. Hay un, hay, un, hay un TikTok de un, de un profesor de fe que deja una tarea a sus uh -huh. niños y le, el niño le dice al padre, padre, eh, no hice la tarea porque no entendí qué versículos de la Biblia nos dejó. Ok, busquen el video para que entiendan el chiste. El padre no, no aguanta y se pone a reír por lo que le dijo. Ok, no dijo versículos. <risa> Okay, keep oh. freezing. So, okay, cal calcu calculator, later, later, calcu calculator, later, así más fácil. Cal later, Ajá, cal no. calculator. Good calculator, very good. Sounds better. Okay, solar power, a solar power the calculator. Okay. It keeps freezing. It keeps overheating. What do you think? It could be overheating. It could be. It keep. It keeps going dead. Because a solar, a solar powered yeah. calculator definitely will go dead if there's no charge. Right. Okay. There's, there's no sunlight. There's no sunlight. Totally. And it is totally uncharged. Okay. My computer screen needs to be replaced, Daniela. <clears throat> okay. Ay, donde lo tenía. Sorry. Where was it? Where was it? <laughs> I had it here. It keeps flickering. Yeah. What do you think, guys? It keeps flickering. Correct. Yeah. I think that will be the only way. Freezing? Overheating. Yeah. And the last one. The answering machine never picks up any calls. It keeps... Crashing. Mm. If an answering machine doesn't never... Pickups any any call. 
Keeps on keeps breaking down. Keeps breaking down. Yeah. Going dead. Going dead. I'm keeps going, going dead. dead. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't pick up any call. It keeps not recording. Oh, by the way, that's the negative form of this way of speaking. It keeps not, it keeps not working. It keeps not crashing. It keeps not picking up any calls. Okay, it keeps skipping calls, could be. It could, let's skip that one. Okay, it keeps skipping calls. Skipping. Yeah, because it jumps, it jumps to the next one. Jumps to the next call, jumps to the next call. Okay. Good. Phew. Okay. I have a question. Yes. If the negative form is keeps not skip with the infinity negative form will be keeps not to be. Hmm. It keeps not to be jamming. No, that wouldn't sound right. Let's see, they don't, they, it doesn't keep jamming. It doesn't keep skipping, but we will be going out of this topic. It doesn't keep skipping the song. That wouldn't make sense. No, no continua saltándose las canciones. It stopped skipping the songs. It keeps not skipping the song. It keeps not skipping the song. That's the way I will say it. It, keep, it keeps not flickering. Or, and that's the point, when a problem has been resolved, let's say my computer screen needs to be replaced, it keeps flickering, then I send it to the repair shop, they brought it back, and now I can say it keeps not flickering, so we're good. It keeps not flickering. Or it doesn't flicker. Ah. Oh. It doesn't it flicker anymore. Flickering. It stopped flickering. Yeah. It didn't continue flickering. It didn't continue flickering. It has stopped flickering. So you can work around that. I think we, we will not use keep right anymore. And if the problem, and you can so solve the problem, you can say like, it won't, it won't stop flickering. For you got it. No, it's still going on. It won't stop flickering. It will not stop flickering. It won't stop flickering. Totally. It won't stop crashing. Okay. Another question. Any other question? No? Okay. Good. Okay, if there are no more questions, I'll just go ahead and move on to the next topic, which is on the next session. Hey, there's a listening exercise on this um, section, okay? And if you noticed, we already finished uh, the first section, section one, um, between Monday. So let me see, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, that will be one week. So Monday and Tuesday, we must cover the following topics. And today we're just going to see an intro. Make sure you perform these two exercises, guys. A listening exercise. Let me see. I already did it. The three people talk about their job. Comple okay, so yeah, this listening audio, I mean, this audio exercise and this reading exercise. Oh, look at that. It's just to select true, false or not given. Okay, make sure you complete that and you're all set for this week. Don't leave things for tomorrow. Do them as soon as possible. Okay. Then we have uh, the second section. There's an intro video that we must watch and then we have to move on to the passive with prepositions, which is a very interesting topic. Okay, so this is a short video. Let's pay attention to it, okay?
But for how much longer? The mighty waves of the Pacific pound the shoreline during what's called a king tide, the highest tides of the Hi, welcome again. We recommend for you to watch the following video and pay attention to it because you will listen to all the topics we'll study in this section. Remember, you may watch the video as many times as you need to. Sit back and relax. One of the most remote nations on earth threatened by rising water levels has today experienced the damaging impact of what's known as a king tide. Tuvalu is a small group of islands 10,000 miles and 11 time zones away in the South Pacific. Islanders fear that the area could disappear within 50 years if action isn't taken over climate change. Well, our environment correspondent, David Shukman, has travelled to the islands and we can join David there now. Hugh, thank you. It's a stormy time here in the heat of the South Pacific, just the combination of high tides and strong winds that people dread because Tuvalu is so low in the water it really does run the risk of becoming the first country to fall victim to the way our climate is now changing. Incredibly beautiful but incredibly vulnerable. The fragile strips of green that make up this country only just break the surface of the ocean. But for how much longer? The mighty waves of the Pacific pound the shoreline during what's called a king tide, the highest tides of the year, and the effects can be devastating. This is the island's main road. I mean, we've never seen this in the past, uh, water coming all the way up to this far. And our house is just up behind us. But the water also surges up from underground through the coral the islands are built on. In the space of an hour, the lowest areas are all flooded. Everyone feels the impact. This priest steps carefully through the waters on his way to conduct a funeral. The higher the king tides get, the harder it is to keep things. Steps carefully through the waters on his way to conduct a funeral. The higher the king tides get, the harder it is to keep things going here. So can you grow anything here? No. Because it's too salty? Yeah, too salty. Okay. The seawater is poisoning the soil and people are nervous. It makes me feel scary. So what will happen to us in 10 years' time? This isn't like other floods that I've covered with a single catastrophic event. Instead, it's a creeping process with this seawater flowing up into the heart of these islands and slowly, but effectively, killing them off. The water bubbles up in tiny streams and everywhere you look, it just lies on the surface. And the problem is getting worse. At the harbour, the rising swell is monitored by an Australian system. The measurements go back 15 years. And at the local Met office, they say the king tides are getting higher, a trend forecast to continue. In prediction, the next five to ten years, the king tide getting worse and getting higher than normal, then most of the coastal areas would be washed out. The implications are alarming. A typical high tide reaches about two and a half metres. A king tide like now can be more than three. The UN Climate Panel forecasts a rise of another half metre when the highest point is only about four and a half metres. Now for Tuvalu, each scenario would cost precious land. Only a small rise would see parts of the island go under, perhaps even the runway, a lifeline to the outside world. How long have you got? Not more than 50 years. In fact, some of the islands have already disappeared. Please help us. You cause climate change. You know, the pool of pays principle must apply. You must give, set up a global fund to which these islands can come and tap into to build their resilience, to build their capacity, their education, technology, and all that, and restore what the damage has been done. People here say there must be a technological fix if a rich country like Dubai can build entirely new islands especially since these are so narrow, you can cross from one side to the other in a few short paces. The problem, they're founded on coral, which is porous. Saving these islands will cost a fortune. 
For the children of Tuvalu, the floods are fun. But for them to lead their lives on these islands will require massive international support. And with just 11,000 people here, will the outside world think it's worth it? Now, of course, Tuvalu does get some aid, but not nearly enough to keep the rising sea at bay. So the international community faces very soon a difficult choice of whether to draw a line between those who get saved and those who don't. And in the meantime, people here are getting ready for another king tide. It's right now it's low. It's due to get very high in about eight hours' time. Back to you in the studio. David, thank you very much, David Schuchman there. Okay, so if you notice, I wrote two sentences that I was able to catch from the video. One of them was, if, what, if actions are not taken, if actions are not taken, um, isn't taken, I think I wrote, and the other one I forgot. But so tomorrow we will check that. It's time for me to go to the next class. I'll see you tomorrow. Same time, Tomorrow, same channel. It's weekend. Yes, you have to come. <laughs> Tomorrow, <laughs> Saturday. Monday. I'll see you on Monday. Monday. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy Thank your you. weekend. Thank you, teacher. Take care. Bye bye. Bye.